Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 14th day of January 2021, I'm going to head over to the United States Mint and show you um, some items that are still available from the year 2017 and 2018. And the 2017 item, and I'll leave a link in the description below, is the American Liberty 225th Anniversary Gold Coin. It is one ounce of pure uh, gold almost said silver, it's $2,590. It marks the 225th anniversary of the United States Mint. And um, the specs on this, the denomination is 100, it is a proof finish, pure gold, 1.2 inches round, one ounce, got a lettered edge from West Point Mint with a W Mint mark. And you can see it's got that lettered edge right there with that 225th anniversary. Wow, that's a beauty. And um, so, yeah, that's still available. And so I was thinking, you know, if, if gold does round out, you know, get past three thousand, four thousand dollars and this is still available, you might want to pick it up. So then I went over to 2018 and there wasn't really too much available, but I was able to find four out of the five. Whoops, I'm sorry. My bad. I was able to find five things. Um, uh, the four out of five was the three coin quarter pack hang on a second so this is the 2018 gold proof coin and um it's a beauty also it's featuring the same design as the one ounce 2017 american liberty 225th anniversary gold coin that i just shown you um the obverse depicts a modern rendition of liberty and the specs on this one here it's a ten dollar denomination so it's a tenth of what the other one was same information now it's a proof it's pure gold 0.65 inches it is a tenth of an ounce. It's got the reeded edge with West Point mint mark and mints. She's a beauty, um, although probably very, very small indeed. SM all. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, if gold does go up and the um, price is reasonable, why not? So moving on to the American Intervention stuff. These two items right here and the rolls are still available to you from 2018. So this is the introductory proof coin. It's still available and then I said the rolls and bags you can do the Philadelphia and you can do the Denver uh, minted rolls so those are still available now this what I thought was the coolest thing on here it was the Voyagers National Park three coin set the Apostle Islands uh, these they did raise the price here um, about the first week in January they were like 995 now they're 1150 and there's Block Island and finally Cumberland Island. I think that's really beautiful. Uh, all the trees and the, I don't even know if that's Spanish moss or whatever. But the important thing here, and I, and I think what needs to be recognized, is that right there. I mean, there's the Philadelphia minted quarter. There is the Denver minted quarter. And then there is the San Francisco minted quarter. Now, if you look at the finishes, I mean, it looks like a little bit more frosty than the other two, than the Denver and the Philadelphia. Um, it's not a proof. It's a circulation strike coin. Um, so, uh, and they've been making them since 2012. And they've been making them in less mintage than the W quarters. Um, and, and one thing I wanted to show you all is that, you know, if we compare the S San Francisco minted quarter to the West Point minted quarter, um, now obviously um, the West Point minted 2019 quarter was the first time that happens. That's huge. Um, and then the 2020 West Point Minted Quarter uh, had the Privy Mark. So that was also huge. So that makes each one unique, even though it is the second year of the design. They added a Privy Mark, so that makes it um, special as well. But the thing is, with these San Francisco Quarters, they are struck beautifully. Uh, if you've ever picked up a roll of them from the Mint, you can't get them anywhere else. Maybe a dealer if you bought them off the Mint, but and the Internet, secondary market. But... If you look at these, now they don't sell a whole lot of them, okay? Because there's not many out there. This is the Lowell, alrighty? This sold for $36.95 and a mint state $66. Pretty nice, pretty neat. This one sold January 3rd for $26, free, uh, free returns. Didn't say anything about shipping. This one does. Um, this one also has free returns. Makes me think it's the same person. And that's an MS67 S for $40. So if we add those up, we can get a mean, you know. I would say somewhere around 33 maybe $32. And um, 
like I said, they're they're hard to find. Um, look at this: December six, November twenty nine, November twenty five. But now, if you go ahead and look up the W quarter from that same year, um, you know it's it's relatively the same price, except that there's Buku sales: thirteenth, thirteenth, twelfth, tenth, tenth. Um, that's pretty wow right there, huh? Five coin set, two fifty nine. 24 this was best offer accepted $20 for 66 so obviously you can see the prices are coming down a bit but um and these and these are the flavor of the moment you know people are loving these but let's look at populations so i'm here at pcgs okay i'm at the america the beautiful clad quarter and i'm looking up the 2019 low and it is right there Bam, look how many. This is the population report of totally have been graded. 350 of those have been graded. 350. I mean, that's not that many. Not that many at all. And look at how many have been graded at the low. Almost 10,000. So, I mean, these are these are just... And, and you can obviously start to, to see a pattern here when you look down PCH, you, PCGS. You can see a pattern that the ones that have the Buku grades, all you got to do... You don't even need to see the year. You don't even look, look at the mint mark. Just go to the numbers, and you can see that the numbers are outrageous. Look at the 7,600 war in the Pacific. And that's probably the most, least expensive of all the 2019 W quarters of the war in the Pacific. Um, you know, look at that. Bam. And that one's the most expensive out of all of them, and it only has 3,674 graded because most of them aren't in great condition. <laughs> kind of sad. Uh, this one's 7,000, 3,000, 3,000 here. Look, this is 2020 and um, 2000 there. And you can always tell which one is the S. Or, so, whoop, where'd it go? There it is. Because it's right around... Um, it's right around the... Um, <laughs> I just got a visitor in here. Hi, doggy. How you doing? Nice to see you. Okay, go lay down. Okay, I'm doing a video. So anyway... Oh, thanks for the kisses. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Um, so, um, getting a little distracted, but that's okay. It's, it's the doggy. It's a good doggy. Anyway, um, <laughs> the point of it is here, these S quarters are very, very underrated. Um, and here is the prices. And this is the, um, price for a mint state. 65 is $50 is what they're saying here on PCGS. But we know if we look up mint state 65 Lowell, we're not going to be paying sixty fifty dollars for that at all, um, you know. It's so their prices aren't realistic here, and um, you know, just don't go buy these. Go buy the sold sales. These are distracting, and they're give you the false impression of what it might be worth. So always go to the sold sales and look at the most recent. So moving on, and um, this is from Coin World, December twenty fourth. I know it's a while back. Um, but this really caught my eye this morning and I don't, um, <laughs> kind of caught me off guard. And this is, this is all I got for you after this. Um, it says the quarter dollars in the proposed program, and this is the one where Washington is crossing the Delaware. Okay. Um, it says here, the proposed program would follow in the tradition of the state quarters. Um, and this is the new one talking about, um, uh, is this it? No, here we go. I'll just read it all. The, um, the Circulating Collectible Coin Redesign Act of 2020 directs the, uh, the Treasury Department through the United States Mint to mint and issue quarter dollar coins in commemoration and ratification of the 19th Amendment granting women the right to vote. The design of the reverse of each coin shall be an emblematic of the accomplishments and con contributions of a prominent woman who was a resident of that state, District of Columbia, or U.S. Territory. And you know how that works. Um, and it's, this is going to go from 2021, um, or 2022 till 2025. All right. And what that means is that the plan 2021 Washington quarter dollar with the new reverse of Washington crossing the Delaware intended as the new permanent design could be a one year issue. Ouch. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> you know, this has got to be like the roaring twenties of coins for sure i mean there's just so much going on right now it's unbelievable unbelievable 
So if the Washington crossing the Delaware intended as a permanent design is a one-year issue, those are going to be worth bank as well. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just getting better and better. If, you know, if you're just getting into the coin collecting now, you know, good for you. This is an amazing time to be collecting and there's a lot of opportunities right now. Um, it's just, it's remarkable. What a year. Um, this is going to be for coin collecting. We are so fortunate. We are so lucky. And, um, you know, I like clad. I like silver. I like coins. I'm a coin collector and, um, I'm a speculator and I, I like numismatics. They're fun. They're exciting. You learn things and they're informative and, um, you can learn about the precious metals markets and how those things are traded. So there's a lot of avenues here that you can go by, by getting into numismatics. So, it's a really cool time to be here. It's going to be a great year and it's going to be super exciting to be a part of it. And um, I just want to thank you all for being here. Thanks for joining me here today. And I want to thank you all um, for watching and dropping by and all that good stuff. And don't forget that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. It promotes the channel out to other people who might be like-minded and who want to get into coin collecting as well. And if you do what uh, like what you hear and see, I'm losing it today. <laughs> If you like what you hear and see and you're new here, subscribe to the channel. It's free. And uh, that's all I got for you here. I got a visitor again. Son of a silver sacker over and out. <laughs>